Alright pinball fans, uh, today I want to do a short video on how to set up uh, steam controls for your pinball cabinet. Um, there's no need to use Joy to Key or, or whatever other program you're using. Um, I use a just a generic zero delay USB uh, board uh, in my cabinet. I have uh, flipper buttons, magnet save buttons four buttons in the front uh, plus a plunger button. Um, it does help to have the extra buttons but really the only ones you need are plunger and um, your flipper buttons. But I'll show you how to do that and this works for every pinball game on Steam. So you only have to set your controls once and then it'll work in all your games. You might have to go into the game and adjust it um, to the buttons that you have set up but it will work for all of them so as you can see I have um, I have several different pinball I use the demon till all the FX is um, Xeno tilt but it'll even work for like uh, pinball wicked pro pinball I redid my cab so I hadn't uh, installed some of these but it, it works for all of the uh, pinball emulators on Steam okay so first thing you want to do, um, you want to check and see if yours even shows up. Um, make sure it's working in uh, Windows and you don't have anything crazy going on. So you can type in the search thing. Let's type in controller. All right. You'll see set up USB game controllers. Click that. You'll see this screen here. All you got to do is hit properties. All right. And then make sure you don't have anything funky going on. If you see these things, um, the Z-axis and rotation, all that, something moving around, um, you have something off. And that'll be an issue like if you have a, a ball wanting to go to one side of the table or something. This is something you could check for that. Because a controller with a drift stick or something on it will, will mess you up. But I just have the regular USB board, so this is it. And I can press the buttons on my on my cab, and I can see what they are. It's always good to take each button, write down what it is, say like right flipper, and write down the number you have. Though you won't need that for Steam. But it's good for the um, setting up VPX buttons and pinup popper and all that. Okay? So I see I have all my buttons. All my buttons work. So we hit OK. I know Windows recognizes it. Now the problem is with Steam recognizes it. So Steam did not recognize mine to begin with. But how you check, you go to Steam, go to Settings. All right. Then we're going to go down to Controller. Now what you want to do, you want to go down here, and the only one you want enabled is Enable Steam Input for Generic Controllers. Okay. We want that on. Then you're going to come back up here. And if you have this, it says Test Device Inputs. Now you can hit this test. It's going to put up a controller. Now you could hit set up device inputs, but the problem is in normal mode like this, even if you do this, you go and you save your controls, it does not actually save it. It's aggravating. So um, what you have to actually do, now we'll go back. Um, if yours does not show up and you do not have test input, uh, what you have to do is close out Steam, uh, then you want to right click Steam, and you want to run it as administrator. Okay? So that's what I had to actually do to get mine to originally show up. So I started as administrator, um, and then I could go to Steam, hit settings, controller, and I could actually see, the, see this where I could uh, do the test. Okay? Um, if you can turn off all this other stuff, rumble pad, all all these extra things, you can you can turn them off. Um, okay, so to get your settings to actually save, what you want to do, you want to go up top here, you want to hit um, Enter Big Picture Mode. So we're going to hit that. All right, once that loads up in the bot bottom left hand corner, you're going to hit Menu. Go to settings, then you're going to go to controller here. 
okay? And for some reason in uh, big picture mode, it, it works so much better. So you're going to hit begin test, all right? And they're going to set up uh, devices. Now what I did, I originally wrote down the Pinball FX controls. So um, this is default for all their uh, games. So FX2, FX3, FX, and the new Pinball M. This works for all of them, okay? So you're going to hit set, set up uh, device input. All right, and then it's going to show you A. So A is is uh, your plunger in uh, in every pinball emulator in Steam. So you're going to make that your um, plunger button. Okay. So I'm going to hit A. All right, and you will definitely need a B button that um, that backs up. And then in pinball, like FX3 and FX, that changes the visuals. Uh, that turns off like their special effects. Okay. So you set that to a key that you want. I'm going to hit that. All right, now X. X does your power-up. So if you're doing uh, the classic arcade mode, whatever, you get uh, power-ups, you can do X. Now, if you do not want to sign or have a button to sign to X, all you do is hit your plunger button. See, this is press the X button or A to skip. And A is the first thing we made as our plunger. But I do have... Um, I do have an X, so I'm going to use that. Okay, and then Y. Y is your view. So, like, if you want to change the view one, two, three, four, five, six, whatever you want, you want to set that as Y. Um, I do have that, but also, if you don't have it, uh, press the plunger button to skip it. So, I'm going to set my uh, Y button. Okay, now on these, you you basically just going to skip them. So, I'm going to um, hit my plunger button. I'm going to skip all through the rest of the stuff. So. All the joystick, everything. Okay, so now I'm on the left shoulder button. Okay, so left shoulder button is actually going to be nudge in uh, Pinball FX2, FX3, and all that. She so wants that to be, so that's going to be my le left Magnus save. All right, and then I'm going to do um, the left trigger as my left flipper. So I'm going to hit that. And then the same thing on the right side, I'm going to do the uh, right magnet save and then right flipper. And then I'm going to skip. I'm going to skip this, 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 and this will be the last one. It's the uh, center button, so I'm going to skip that. And now it's going to automatically save. Okay? So then once you do that, you just hit menu. Oh, no, it's uh, the B button, the hold, hold B. So, um... Like I said, you did need a uh, a B button, so you just hold that down to exit. I'm going to hold B down. All right, and it backed out. So now I can just go to um, menu, power, and then I'm going to go down here to exit uh, big picture mode. All right, it's going to start me back up. I'm in regular mode here. Um, I'll just fire up my cab and show you that. Oh, uh, what you need to do also, sorry I forgot, we're going to go to our games library. And for this to work in the emulators, what you're going to do, you're going to um, right click like Pinball FX. You're going to go to properties. All right. You're going to go to controller. And you want to, right here, you want to enable Steam input. Okay. So enable Steam input. And that uses the um, buttons that we set up for Steam. Okay, so you do that on all your emulators, properties, controller, enable Steam input. Okay, so I'm going to close that out. I'm going to launch a pinup popper and I'm going to show you how it works. So I'm going to go over, I'll do uh, FX2 first, launch it. We're going to launch the game. All right, I hit my plunger, and there's my flippers. Timber, timber, and also nudge. See, I can nudge it left to right. All right. Okay, we'll back out. Same thing with uh, FX3.
I love FX2 and FX3. They just load so much faster than the new uh, Zen. Alright. See that all works. Nudge also. And the same with FX and Pinball M. So, there you have it. Um, that is how to set up the controls through Steam without Joy to Key or any special uh, programs. And uh, I hope that helps you guys out. Till next time.